The Lido Bearcats will kick off to the Red Oak Hawks to start this game off. Red Oak has a good crowd, as does the Lido. Last week, Alito played at Lake Worth. They defeated the Frogs by a score of 24-zip. We apologize for not having that game on cable for you. All right, Toby Watts, number 33 for Alito to kick. Number 82, number 20. Back deep to receive for the Hawks. All right, Toby's kick is up, good kick. It'll come down inside the 10, taken by number 20. He is out to the 15. Out about to the 25 before he stopped in there. So, Toby Watts the kicker on the stop. Red Oak will take over first and 10 at their own 25. We're just outside the 25 at about the 26. Right. Toby Watts, number 33 on the stop. All right, Red Oak will go with two wide receivers, two setbacks, man in motion. The snap, long count through the middle. That's the runner room, number 42. It's caught from behind. The 42 caught from behind by 55. I believe that's Hiles. Brandon Hiles ran him down from behind. He did pick up enough for the first down. He's out almost to midfield. He's out to about the Red Oak 46 yard line. Number 55, Brandon Hiles on the stop. Yeah, number 42, a lot of speed for Red Oak. Again, I'll go with two setbacks. Again, number 12 in motion. And again, it's through the middle, nothing doing. Pick up of maybe three. Not much room through the middle that time. It'll be second and about seven. From about the 47, number 33 Watts on the stop again. Watts is playing from defensive end for the Bearcats. And this time Red Oak will go with three setbacks. Number 20 again in motion. He goes to the slot formation. Number 22 now in motion. Picked up over there by Hood. Number 43 again through the middle. He stopped short of the first down. I believe that was number 65 in there. That's Johnny Paul. In on the stop along again with Hiles. So it'll be third and short. Red Oak is looking at third and one. They're in Alito territory, about the Alito 46. This drive started at the 25. Again, they go with three setbacks. And again, it's through the middle, number 43. He probably has the first down. Good stop by the Alito line. Hiles is in there, along with Ricky Hood. Also, Hamilton and Hissom host the Bearcats. They did pick up the first down, number 43, picked up about a yard and a half on that play. They're inside the Alito 45, down to about the Alito 43 yard line. <coughs> first and 10 for Red Oak. The give this time is to number 22. Toby missed him in the backfield. He is taken out of bounds. He may have enough for another first down. It's gonna be close. evidently a official timeout for a measurement. It's going to be close to the first down. Matter of fact, I believe they have it. And they have it by a couple of feet.
So they're in almost to the Bearcat 30. This drive started on the Red Oak 25. And it is number 20, and he has stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain. No gain. All right, Mike Elrod, number 67, on the stop. A loss of about a yard on the play, so it'll be second and 11. Red Oak looking at second and 11. At about the Alito 34, they go slot formation. And again, it's number 43. The hole is there. He found some room. Picked up almost enough for another Red Oak first down. A good hole that time in the Alito line, number 43, picking up some yardage. He... Picked up about seven, which will bring up third and four. And Red Oak will go with three setbacks. And they shift to the slot. Number 13 throw, looks for a receiver, has number incomplete. Can't get a handle on it. All right. Hargrove and Hood and Bills, all three there. Pass is incomplete. A Red Oak will be looking at fourth down, fourth down four yards on the Alito 31. On the Alito 26, I'm sorry. They're into the Alito 26. And this time he's going to throw again. Looks for a receiver, has 20 deep. He has it. He has stopped short of the touchdown. He is taken out of bounds by Ricky Hood. And Randy Hargrove, pass is complete. They are inside the Alito five, first and 10 for Red Oak with eight minutes, 33 seconds left in the first quarter. The ball is the ball is bobbled. The Red Oak retains possession. Loss of about two. So it'll be second and goal from the Alito seven. Red Oak goes with three setbacks. The 34 in motion. Pitch out number 22. No touchdown. Very little gain. He has stopped at about the five. Pick up at maybe two. Good job by the Alito defense. Well, Red Oak will be looking at third down. There's an Alito player down on the field. All right, with seven minutes, 42 seconds left on the clock in the first quarter, Red Oak has driven from their own 25 to inside the Alito 5. playing from the Alito four or looking at third down 
Seven minutes, 34 seconds left on the clock in the first quarter. Red Oak threatens. Pass to the flats, number 30. Caught our reception, number 22, Bills. Is there good defense? Number 67, Mike Elrod, also in on the stop. Good defense for the Alito Bearcats. And Red Oak has called timeout. Red Oak Hawks have timeout. They are at the Alito six-yard line now. Loss of two on the last play. Alito Bearcat defense doing a super job down inside their five-yard line. The Red Oak Hawks started this drive at their own 25. Sustained drive, no really big play. About a 12, 15-yard pass. The biggest single gain they had, number 43, doing a super job for them. That's Craig Fire. Scott Ellis. Number 43 is Scott Ellis of the Red Oak Hawks. All right from just outside the Alito 5. It is fourth down. Alito defense doing a super job. This is the fourth down. In or around the Alito 5, number 13 wants to throw, looks in the end zone, nobody open. He tries to take it in. He does not have it, I believe. He has stopped short of the touchdown, number 13. Red Oak quarterback tries to run it in. The Alito Bearcat defense has held four downs inside their five-yard line, no score. Excellent job by the Alito defense. 80-yard drive by the Red Oak Hawks is terminated at the Alito 4 when they fail to score on 4th and 4. So the Alito Bearcat offense will take over inside their own 5-yard line with 7 minutes 8 seconds left in the first quarter. All right, the snap. Bearcats attempt to get a little running room. They give it to, I believe, Ford through the middle. A very little gain on the play, less than a yard. The Bearcats are looking at second and nine. They need to get some room. They need to get some operating room back there. They'll go with two setback slot formation. And Young keeps it. Young keeps it. He is caught at the line of scrimmage. Manages to pick up maybe two. So it's going to be third and about eight. All right, Bearcats in their own eight yard line, third down, six minutes left in the first quarter, no score. The snap and again, Young. Gives it, number 15, Dale Young. I'm sorry. The give was to Bubba Kenimer. The give was to Bubba Kenimer, number 30. And he picked up about a yard. So Alito will have to kick. Toby will kick from his own end zone. He's standing under the goalpost. Good punt, Toby's kick is up. 45 yards in the air, taken at the Alito 45, number 82. And he is all the way back down. He is all the way back down to about the Alito 21.
where it would be first and 10 for Red Oak at the Alito 21. Good punt by Toby, 45, 50 yards in the air. He was standing five yards deep in the end zone, and he kicked that ball in the air to the 45. A lot of hang time. All right, Red Oak again with uh, one setback, single setback, number 43. He's given the ball. Shakes off one Alito tackler and gets almost enough for a first down. A uh, pickup of about seven. Pickup of seven. I'll be second and three. Red Oak, look at it, second and three. Red Oak fans really getting excited. We are on the Red Oak side of the stadium. And Red Oak will go with three setbacks. Quick snap. No gain. Brought down by Hargrove and Hissom and I believe Hamilton. Little or no gain on the play. It'll be third and about three. Right, Red Oak goes with two setbacks. Number 20 is wide, number 22 in motion. Long count to snap. Number 13 wants to throw, has time. Complete number 88. Complete to number 88 over the middle. Good pattern. Well thrown ball. There will be enough for the first down and for the second time they are inside the Alito 10. Bearcats need a break. They can't play the whole game inside their 20 and win. The snap and the pass is incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Mike Elrod and Hargrove are both there. Looks like number 13 wanted to go deep. Looked in the end zone. Ford was there. Step for step with number 20. So he had to go to his short man. The pass was a little bit overthrown. It was incomplete. Mike Elrod on defense there. So they go with a single setback, number 43. He goes around the end, and he is stopped, I believe, short of the score. No score. There's a flag on the play. There is a flag on the play. They have spotted a ball at about the Alito 2. And it is offside against Red Oak. It is second down. The Bearcats will probably take, take the penalty. It's the first penalty of the game. And it's a 10-yard penalty. Could not have been outside. It must have been holding. Yes, it is. Illegal use of the hands. Red Oak penalized 10 yards. First penalty of the game. That brings the ball out to about the Alito 19-yard line. So it'll be second and 18. And Red Oak goes with two setbacks, and it's number 20. Number 22. He is caught for a loss by number 65, Johnny Paul. All right. Bearcat defense doing a super job. Red Oak looking at third and long. Third and long from the Alito 23. Two minutes, 38 seconds left in the first quarter. Red Oak has dominated. Alito defense has held really great. And Red Oak goes with two setbacks, slot formation, the snap. Number 13 rolls out, deep, deep. Number 32, Hamilton is back there. Number 32, Brad Hamilton. 
ran him down from behind and slowed him down enough for number 72, Curtis Hissom, to come in and give him a hand. Brad Hamilton, Lito Jr. in the Red Oak backfield has thrown the Hawks for a loss. Number 13 is dropped at the Alito 30 for a loss of eight, so it'll be fourth and 30 for the Red Oak Hawks. And they will punt. Now, Lito with nobody deep. Snap is low. Rolls on the ground. Picked up. Good punt. Good punt. Aimed at the corner. And I believe it has gone out of bounds at the backfield. Lito, three. Perfect punt. Out of bounds at the Alito three-yard line. Excellent kick by Red Oak. Alito Bearcats will have the ball at their own three. Minute 33 left in the first quarter. The game has been in Alito territory for about five minutes playing time here. And the Bearcats attempt to get a little running room. Try to go through the middle. Walter Ford on the carry. Pickup of about two. Which brings the ball out to about the Alito five. So it will be second and eight for the Bearcats from the Alito five. All right, the snap, Dell wants to throw. Looks for Toby Watts, number 33, pass is incomplete. Pass is incomplete, the ball is wet. That pass was catchable. A little bit overthrown. Toby can't get a handle on it. Quick pop to the tight end. Incomplete, so the Bearcats will be looking at third down. Eight to go from deep in their own territory. The ball is on the Alito five. All right, this time it is Hunter, number 44. Hunter through the middle, he picked up a few, not enough for the first down. So the Bearcats will be looking at fourth and three. And Watts will have to kick. Bearcats will have to punt from deep in their own territory for the second time. Clock is running. 26 seconds left. Snap a little high. Toby has it up. Another good punt. It'll come down at midfield at the Alito 49. Another good punt. It's the second punt for close to 50 yards for Toby. Both punts in the air. A lot of hang time on that one. No chance for a return. Red Oak punter doing a super job. Going 45 yards in the air, out of bounds at the Alito three-yard line. Both teams doing very well in the punting department. Red Oak dominating on offense. The Alito defense doing a super job. The Red Oak will take over at the Alito 49. They'll go with three setbacks. The snap, and it's number 43. And he drives all the way in for about seven yards. Before he's finally stopped, I believe it was Hargrove. Randy Hargrove on the stop. Number 43, Red Oak running back, Ellis. A lot of speed, a lot of power, hard to stop. He drove Randy back for an additional yard after contact that time. So the end will be reversed. Alito will defend the north goal. And as the first quarter comes to a close, Red Oak has possession of the ball at the Alito 42-yard line. At the Alito 
46-yard line, pardon me. And they are looking at second and about six. No score in the game. Excellent goal line defense by the Alito Bearcats. Red Oak unable to get in the end zone. Red Oak again goes with three setbacks. And the give again is to number 43. And again, he is caught short of the first down. Pickup of maybe two. It will be third and short. Red Oak looking at third and one. Bearcats held Ellis to a pickup of only about two. Ellis again on the carry. Stop short of the first down. So Red Oak is looking at fourth and short. And they are in the punt formation. And they will punt. Number 81 has it up. He goes for the sideline. And it goes out of bounds at about the Alito 18. At about the Alito 18. <laughs> so the Bearcat offense will again have the ball. Not very good field position. They have not had the ball in good field position all night. Alito defense has had their work cut out for them in this first part of the game. Bearcats have been unable to move the ball offensively. So, from their 15, first and 10, Alito goes with two setbacks. They give us through the middle, nothing doing. Very little gain, less than a yard. And I believe that was Walter Ford again on the carry. And he picked up about a yard. So it'll be second and nine. There's a Lido player down on the field. All right, with 10 minutes, 15 seconds left on the clock. No score this far in the game. The Bearcats have the ball second and nine from their own 17-yard line. <laughs> 